I'm getting ready to go out and do a wine haul, wine shopping trip, uh, to pick up some wines that were recommended to me. I put up a Facebook post asking what people's favorite wines under $10 are, and I got a lot of responses, um, some duplicates, um, some wines I definitely tried before, some that I hadn't. Uh, so I'm going to go out today. I'm going to go to BevMo and see what I can find, uh, what they have, uh, how much under $10 they are, um, what different options they have. We're just going to go explore and see what we can find. Uh, these are wines I'll probably try throughout the next week or two. I am going to Oregon uh, on Wednesday and I'll be there until Monday, the following Monday. So I won't know, I don't know how much of these wines I'll be able to try this week, although I'll be doing lots of exploring in Oregon, which is awesome. Um, so hopefully you can find some treasures there. Um, but yeah, so over the next couple of weeks, maybe by the end of the month, I can do a follow up and we can, I can talk about which ones I liked. I imagine that I'm going to like most of them because I think my friends have pretty good taste. But you never know, so we're gonna find out. I can just definitely do a, you know, top five or maybe even top ten. Um, so I wanted to list off the ones that I was recommended: um, Luzon Crianza, Apothic, Shepherd's Orchard, Stella Rose Black, Bogle, which is actually a winery that's really near here. I like to go visit. Mark West Pinot Noir, Cupcake, which I've tried and I used it for my mold wine video. 14 Hands Cab, Charles Shaw, which you can actually only get at Trader Joe's. Our Daily Red, which I've had, which is an organic wine, which is really good, especially if you're sensitive to non-organic wines. Um, uh, Rex, Rex Goliath. I think I pronounced that right. And specifically the Pinot Noir. Um, Steel Reserve, Fish Eye, Boda Box, which actually is more than $10, but I guess each box is more than a bottle of wine and it lasts a really long time. So that's what the comment um, was with that post. Uh, and then we have Oyster Bay, Gnarly Head, and Smoking Loon. So we're going to see what we can find. Hopefully we can find all of them. And um, yeah, let's go. We're going to walk there. It's about, it's about a mile. Which is good, I like to walk. Okay, come along. So I have to go back, walk back to my place because I forgot the list, which is a necessity when you're doing shopping. This is a very classic thing for me to do. Um, so here I go. Fortunately, I didn't get very far, but here I go back to my apartment to get the list. Okay, round two. I got the list. Oh, it's very bright. I wanna show it to you. This is my things I moose do list. And here's a list of all the wines. It takes up like a whole page. Um, yeah, I really love this things I moose do list. First of all, now you can see me. Okay. Um, first of all, I really love moose. I feel like moose might be sort of like my spirit animal. And I also got this pad, this like things I must moose do list. Um, pad in Alaska. I went to Alaska last, um, this past September, uh, and it was an amazing trip. We did a cruise there, and it was incredible. So here we are, approaching Bedlo. No one um, recommended, but it's one that I've had here. It's technically a $20 wine, but Bevmo has this um, buy one, get one for five cents deal. So it's still a little bit over $10, but um, it's um, Buccaneer Zinfandel, and I really like it. I like it a lot. I've had a lot of bottles of that. So yeah, if you like a good Zinfandel, this is the one for you. While I was filming that, I did notice that we have um, a Bogle Vineyards Old Vine Zinfandel here. So I think I'm going to grab this one up. I just decided to go with a full-on cart. Um, I've got my first pick here. Um, whoop, flip it around. First pick here, the Bogle. Um, just thought a cart would be easier. I'm seeing a sign down here for boxed wine. Okay. 
There's the Goda box. It's the one that was recommended, I believe, from my friend Dante. Hey, Dante. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do boxed wines today. I think I'd like to do a different video on that. Also, guys, I just want to give a shout out to these little bottles because they're just so darn cute. Cute things are fun. Okay, I'll have to look for more from the list. So, with some help from the nice lady who works here at Bevmo, she's helped me find 14 hands um, Cabernet. And I got the Apothic. Oh, she also helped me find the um, Mark West Pinot Noir. So guys, I found the Mark West um, because Lee found it for me. I just found it right here. Um, it actually is $10.99, but um, I'm still going to put it in there because you could probably get it on sale somewhere. But there it is. Bottom there. Since they do have the um, Menage a Trois Pinot Noir, I am going to get that and do a bit of like a showdown between that and the um, Mark West. Um, let me see if I can grab it a bit better. I picked out my six wines. They're all here in this box. And uh, yeah, I think that it's going to be a great little experiment. Uh, I do want to look at my receipt and just make sure they're all under $10. I may have to change it to being under $12 or something. I'm sure you can get some of them at on sale or whatever for $10, but I want to make sure I'm being honest about the prices. Um, yeah, I'm also standing outside this Chinese restaurant. I've never been here before, but it was a nice spot with a little place to hold up my box while I took a little break. And um, yeah, so when I get home, I'll take them all out and I'll show you what I ended up getting because I did mix it up a little bit um, after my shopping. Okay, see you soon. So here we go. I got my six wines. I carried all of them uh, about a little under a mile. My kitty is interested in seeing what's going on. Hey, Zuzu. This is my Zuzu baby. Hi, Zuzu baby. Do you want to? She's being very silly. So uh, let's just go through the wines I ended up getting. Um, I got two Zins, two Cabs, and two Pinot Noirs. Hi, baby. Do you want to check out the wine too? Crazy monster. Okay, so I got Menage a Trois Pinot. Excuse me, kitty. Beep, beep. I have to be careful with her because she will knock things down. I got the Mark West Pinot. I got Gnarly Head Zin. I got the Bogle Zin. Bogle was recommended to me by more than one person, so I actually got another Bogle, but I got their cab. And then I also got the 14 Hands cab as well. So that's what I got. I'm going to flip the camera around so I can finish up talking to you. So one last time, here are the wines I got, which were all recommended by friends and family. I'm really excited to give these a try. Um, since I have two Pinots, two Cabs, and two Zins, I think I'm going to do a video for each and just talk about um, which ones I like better and why. Um, always remember that everyone has their own palate and um, their very own taste buds. So these are just my opinions, my thoughts about what they might go well with and what do I think is worth the price. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to film those. I'm excited to try these out. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.